We are thrilled to be able to have this community health platform because it really helps us to serve the needs of our clients. When we first started uh, the building a very comprehensive uh, care coordination community health worker program, uh, there were no systems uh, that were available to really help us track uh, and monitor what we do. Um, and we felt it was um, hindering our ability to uh, report our impact, uh, to identify uh, uh, what trends are existing. And uh, so with the, the platform, the system helps us determine barriers by identifying social determinants of health and barriers to care that impact clinical outcomes. And so with this, we are able to use the built-in social determinant health assessments that help us to track, monitor, and document an individual's problems, goals, barriers, and then the interventions needed to help them address them. Um, aggregate patient data is available from multiple sources to provide a comprehensive view of clinical and statistical outcomes. And so this data from siloed sources helps us to create a comprehensive care plan, again, outlining the needs of the patient. Um, this helps us identify barriers in care delivery and resource utilization across multiple programs, helping us to track interventions, timelines, and identify patterns that help us to develop appropriate programs that align with the needs of the individuals that we're serving. Um, there are design tactics to help us overcome uh, implementation barriers. Um, there, uh, so through the use of the social determinants of health and disease-based assessments, it helps us to allocate resources and identify the greatest needs and provide mm -hmm. care gap reporting, care manager tracking, and then intervention scheduler helps our community health workers and care managers to identify uh, the specific tasks that are needed each day to help them achieve their goals and stay on track. Um, this in information is also shared with primary care networks where we're integrating with them and incorporating data that helps us to present a comprehensive uh, overview of what the patient's needs are. And then these care plans help us share and discuss the needs of the individual in our case conferences. And most importantly, uh, we're able to track the community resources that our uh, clients are referred to. This really helps us to advocate for their needs, uh, help them with encouraging self-management principles, and through the referral processes and the referral documentation, our care managements are able to understand some of the most uh, uh, important resources uh, and information to provide to primary care providers and specialists in addressing the social needs and barriers of our clients. Next slide. So the Care Coordination Technology Platform gives us an overview of a comprehensive overview of what the multiple needs are of the patients that we serve, including starting at the left, linking to community resources helps us track and monitor what community services an individual has already been referred to so that there is a reduction in duplication of efforts. Um, we provide education programs that help patients to understand how to manage their health better and how to optimize their individual health through the education and health literacy programs that we connect them to as well as the educational information we share and that documents uh, that is documented in the um, platform. It also helps us with provider engagement. Sharing these comprehensive care plans really engages the entire care team with understanding the needs of the patient. And we know that combining all of this together really not only improves health behaviors, but also improves an individual's ability to manage their health and communicate with their care team and improve outcomes. So the 
One of the most important things that the system helps us with is our impact. And I spoke to you about that earlier. Um, we actually uh, used uh, data from the system um, to create what our impact uh, study, which was a pre and post of an individual's um, hospital visits or a hospital admissions pre and post. Um, intervention or enrollment into our program. So we served over 2,000 patients. However, 163 were enrolled in our intensive care coordination program. Uh, these individuals received um, evidence-based pathways that were documented into Health BC, which helped us to realize the, num the volume of work that goes into reducing hospital costs and hospital visits. Um, these 163 people received uh, hundreds of phone calls, uh, 258 emails and texts. Um, there were 73 provider conferences held on their behalf and 723 intervention pathways were created, tracked, monitored, and completed. Of these 163 patients, we did a pre and post. How many hospital visits did they have six months prior? to being enrolled in our intensive care coordination program compared to six months post uh, enrollment. And we found an, an on average an $11,000 decrease in hospital charges per patient or a reduction of four and a reduction of 42% uh, of hospital visits per patient. So it's important to have a, a system that allows you to document the work that you do um, track the interventions and then report the outcomes so that you can understand the impact and then present that to funders, to um, uh, and, and, and other organizations that need assistance so that you're validating uh, the impact and the effect of the work. Next slide. So this is a, a, a report of uh, our 699 clients uh, who were in our high, our uh, intensive care coordination program. And through our documentation uh, in the Health EC platform, we were able to identify the productivity of the care coordinators. Um, these 699 high need, um, vulnerable uh, individuals had over 2,000 social goals met. Um, we were able to track that it, over 8,000 phone calls were received uh, by this group of individuals. We completed uh, nearly 4,000 interventions, uh, sent a total of 1,300 plus emails, text letters, conducted uh, 579 home visits, and again, were able to track and monitor uh, the number of provider conferences that it took to help these 699 people meet their social goals. So again, uh, the system uh, helped with this tracking monitoring uh, to really validate the impact of our program on the community. 